So here it is, the Noiko uh, 80 mil, five square foot, that's what I got. Uh, there's Dynamat, there's Kill Mat, there's Hush Mat. Um, but I went to go with the Noiko, and uh, I only got five square foot, so let's open this up. Knife. Let's put this away before I cut myself. So, straight up. This is pretty neat. It came with this little uh, booklet right here. And then it shows exactly what it could be used for. So, literally everything. The hood, firewall, front wheel wells, trunk. Could be for exterior or interior noises. And then it even says what we'll need to install it. So that's pretty cool. I don't know what white spirit is, but I honestly assume we just need just a knife, I guess. Metal. And this is kind of heavy, actually. It's not, obviously it's not heavy enough for me to not carry it, but it was heavier than I thought. This is what it looks like. Let's see. Yeah, adhesive, so. Looks like we just put this down in our, uh, wherever you want a denim material. Of course, we're gonna do the muffler. So I'm gonna put this underneath the trunk. Oh, you know what, I think I just cut it. Whatever. So yeah, we're gonna go install that right now. What is going on guys? So we are going to install this thing and um, I'm just gonna do a quick sound test just to see what it is before and then I'll do the same thing after. Um, right now it's getting pretty dark pretty fast the camera doesn't really do it justice but uh basically i gotta get this done asap so let's do the sound test and uh yeah let's get on with this that's the drone okay we're gonna install this right now we got our Swiss knife, or not really, an Amazon Swiss knife. We got the Noiko, again, five square feet, 80 mils. And you know what, I'm actually gonna put on some gloves because it could cut you, so I'll show you guys right now. I'm just gonna take it, lift this up, lift this up. Yeah, well, we can actually take this up. Yeah, we got five more of those, so it looks like we could actually cover the whole trunk. So I started in the back right there. I said I wasn't gonna wipe it, because I am gonna put this in here, just like that. But, couldn't help it, too much dust. So yeah, I actually do recommend you wipe it. It's gonna be stuck underneath uh, that, that carpet over there, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. It's good to just be sure. Okay, so it started raining outside, so now I'm just in the garage. And uh, it's actually better lighting here. I should have started off here. Anyways, I got the insulation in. I got one over there by the seat. I got a few over there, because that's mainly where the wall is gonna be, or the wall is. There's an empty patch here, just because um, I don't have enough. So that's what about five square feet looks. I did cut some, put some on the wall. Right there and right there. And this foam actually goes over it. And that is still exposed, so that's why I put most of it there. Um, and I think what I'm gonna do is actually put this piece of cardboard on the top and then put the carpet down so at least it's a little bit more sound deadening. When I moved it from the parking lot to in here, I got a small little sample of it and it actually sounds really, really good there's also a tool here now I know what it is uh, it's to uh, basically what does it say special roller for rolling down the material I guess it's just to pat it down a little bit make it a little bit more sleek I don't know but I'm just doing that with my hands it works either way so it's just more work
while their drone went away. Thanks for watching the video. I hope this helped out at least one person. As for me, I could tell the difference. If you're thinking about doing this to your car, whether it's a muffler delete or you got a cat back exhaust or a downpipe, um, this will make it more quiet inside the cabin. I only got five square feet, so if you want to add more, you can and it'll be even quieter. So uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Like if you liked the video, subscribe if you want to see more and comment down below for anything you guys think. I'm going to do more of this stuff to my 10th gen Civic. We got a lot more coming, so stay tuned. Thanks.